Malaysia is entering a new age of transportation unlike anything the nation has seen before, and today, we are going to explore a transformation so powerful that even Malaysians themselves are shocked by how fast their railway revolution is rising. This is the story of Malaysia's new megatrain era where high-speed ambitions, futuristic electric train sets, and massive cross-border rail systems are pulling the entire region into a new chapter of connectivity, technology, and national pride. The journey begins with a project so bold and so ambitious that it is already being called the backbone of the future Malaysian Peninsula, the East Coast Rail Link, or ECRL. For years, the east coast of Malaysia, regions like Kelantan, Terengganu, and parts of Pahang, remained disconnected from the rapidly developing western cities such as Kuala Lumpur, Selangor, and the busy port zones near Port Klang. The East Coast had beauty, culture, hard-working people, but no direct fast rail connectivity to the nation's economic heart. And for decades, Malaysians had one question, when will the East be connected to the West the way it deserves today, that answer is becoming real. Standing at over 665 kilometers long, the ECRL is not just a track it is a national lifeline. The moment the first electric train sets, built by CRRC specifically for Malaysia, were announced to be ready and shipped, excitement spread across the country. Images and videos of sleek blue and white electric trains began circulating online, and Malaysians couldn't believe how modern and futuristic the new carriages looked. These weren't average trains. These were high-capacity, electric multiple units capable of high-speed travel, quiet operation, and a level of comfort that instantly put Malaysia into the group of advanced Asian rail nations. When the announcement came that the first batch was already en route to Kuantan Port, the feeling across the nation was simple, Malaysia is leveling up. The ECRL is designed to slash travel time between the East Coast and Kuala Lumpur from long, difficult road hours down to just a few. Imagine waking up in Kelantan and having breakfast in Kuala Lumpur without feeling tired. Imagine businesses in Terengganu shipping goods to West Coast ports in a fraction of the current time. Imagine students, workers, and families moving between regions with the same ease people enjoy on major high-speed networks in China, Japan, and Europe. That is exactly the experience the ECRL aims to create. And to make this dream real, Malaysia has turned the project into one of the most advanced rail engineering efforts in Southeast Asia. The tunnels being carved through mountains, the long span bridges crossing rivers and valleys, the brand new stations being built, and the electrified double track design all speak one message, Malaysia is preparing for a new era where the train is not just transportation it's transformation. But the ECRL is only one part of the story, because while the east coast gets its historic connection, the southern gateway of Malaysia Johor is preparing for its own railway revolution. For decades, Johor Bahru and Singapore were connected by a congested causeway, overflowing with travelers, workers, and vehicles moving daily between the two economic hubs. People spent hours in traffic, waiting in long queues, stuck in the old cross-border bottleneck. Everyone asked the same question, why is there no world-class train system between these two neighbors Malaysia listened? And now, the answer is here, the RTS link. This is not just a normal train line. The RTS link is a fully modern, high-frequency, cross-border rapid transit system built to move thousands of passengers smoothly between Johor Bahru and Singapore in minutes. The trains being produced for the RTS are lightweight, modern, electric, and engineered specifically for speed, reliability, and safety. A brand new station is rising in Bukit Chagar, equipped with immigration, customs, and top-tier transit facilities. And what truly shocked people was the announcement that the first full test runs without passengers are starting, moving Malaysia one major step closer to completing this international link. 
2026 is the year the infrastructure will be fully ready, and by early 2027, the RTS link is expected to open for public operations. When that day comes, the daily frustrations of travelers will transform into relief, comfort, and speed. No more long traffic queues. No more wasted hours waiting. With trains arriving every few minutes, the Johor, Singapore connection will become one of the most efficient in the region. And when Malaysians saw early glimpses of the RTS train sets being manufactured, the reaction online was the same as with the ECRL, Malaysia is moving ahead faster than anyone expected. But Malaysia's rail future is not just about megaprojects between states or crossing borders. One of the most important upgrades inside the country is happening quietly but powerfully through the Gemma's, Johor Electrified Double Track Project. The old single track system that limited speed, created delays, and restricted capacity is being transformed into a fully electrified double track corridor. New tracks, new stations, new signaling systems, and modern electric trains will create a smooth and high-frequency service between central and southern Malaysia. Imagine towns like Segamat, Kluang, and Kulay getting improved rail access with upgraded stations and faster connections. Families will travel easier. Workers will commute faster. Businesses will gain new opportunities. And the southern region of Malaysia will finally match the modern standards seen in major global rail systems. But here is where the story gets even more exciting. Malaysia is not just upgrading its trains. It is upgrading its entire vision for national mobility, from high-speed aspirations between Kuala Lumpur and Johor Bahru, to proposals for long-distance express networks connecting states with speeds previously unseen in the country, Malaysia is preparing itself for a breakthrough decade. Experts say that Southeast Asia is entering a high-speed rail age, and Malaysia is positioning itself at the center of it. The government's transportation blueprint sets bold goals, faster intercity travel, cleaner electric mobility, reduced congestion, and an integrated rail ecosystem where every region benefits. And if you look closely, you can see signs everywhere. Ridership on existing ETS trains keeps increasing. Malaysians love electric rail travel because it is comfortable, quiet, stable, and efficient. The new Class 93 2 ETS Platinum trains represent the country's best long-distance service today. These trains run between Kuala Lumpur and northern destinations with speeds up to 160 km h, offering comfortable seats, modern interiors, charging ports, entertainment screens, and a premium travel experience. The success of this ETS system is exactly why Malaysia is now confident in expanding electrified rail services to more regions. When people in the East Coast, Johor, or Sabah imagine the future, they imagine electric trains just like ETS only faster, longer, and more advanced. But Malaysia's railway transformation is not only about steel, concrete, tunnels, stations, or electrical wires. It is about people. It is about connecting families. It is about boosting local economies. It is about giving students easier access to universities, giving workers better access to jobs, giving businesses faster access to markets, and giving travelers more access to the country's breathtaking landscapes and cultural hubs. When ECRL opens, places like Kota Baru, Kuala Terengganu, Dungan, Kuantan, Bentung, and Gombak will all be linked in a way that was once unimaginable. The east-to-west travel barrier will fall. Rural communities will gain urban access. Tourism will rise. Local shops will get new customers. Ports will move cargo at lightning speed and Malaysia's internal unity its north, south, east, and west will be stronger than ever before. Think about the symbolic meaning of this. 
A child in Kelantan who dreams of studying in Kuala Lumpur will no longer need to take long, tiring road journeys. A worker in Johor who travels daily to Singapore will no longer waste hours at the border. A business owner in Terengganu exporting goods will no longer face slow and expensive logistics. A family in Kuala Lumpur planning a trip to Kuantan Beach will be able to reach it quickly, comfortably, and with zero stress. This is the type of change that builds nations. But railway modernization also brings global impact. Investors see confidence. Tourists see convenience. Companies see opportunity. And the world sees Malaysia as a rising transport hub in Southeast Asia. As the trains get faster, the economy gets stronger. As the stations get bigger, the regions get closer. And as the rail lines expand, the nation becomes more connected not just physically, but socially, economically, and emotionally. A country's railway network reflects its vision. Some nations ignore trains and fall behind. Others invest and rise. Malaysia has made its choice. It is investing. It is rising. It is building. It is accelerating and the timing could not be better. The world is shifting toward clean energy. The world is moving toward electric transport. The world is embracing sustainable travel. And Malaysia is positioning itself right in the center of this global shift. When the first ECRL trains roll out on public service in 2027, it will be a historic moment. News channels will cover it. Citizens will celebrate it. Engineers, planners, and workers will feel proud. And travelers who take that very first ride will remember it for the rest of their lives. Because they will be part of a moment when the nation changes forever. A moment when Malaysia shows the world that it is ready for a future powered by innovation. When the RTS link opens B.